Hola, lovely seeing all of you here. Well, today I have tried to uh, do this makeup look, which is a half smoky blue eyes with glitter. And uh, yes, it definitely requires a little bit of precision so that you got to make sure that you know there are no harsh uh, lines around your eye area because entire attention of your makeup is definitely drawn to your eyes. So yes, uh, you have to work uh, a little bit as far as your eye makeup is concerned. But then the other things go up really very fast. So in case if you have liked this look and you would like to know how I've achieved it, continue watching the video. The ones who are watching me for the first time, a big hello to all of y'all. I'm Gajul. And uh, please do hit the subscribe button and also the bell icon next to the subscribe button. That's going to notify you no sooner my video is online. Um, and uh, yes, in case if you have any questions, queries mentioned down in the comment section below, I shall definitely revert. And uh, yeah, do share and like this video with all your friends. And uh, yeah, in case if you find this video informative, please do give it a thumbs up. That is definitely something which is very, very motivating for me. So yes, without any further ado, let's get started with today's video. Hello, let's get started. I've already finished doing the base for my face. I have done uh, the concealing foundation. I've also concealed the lower, you know, um, lash line. And uh, I've also done the eyebrows. For the concealer, I've used the Krylin palette. For my foundation, I have used Krylin again. That is the HD foundation, which is a souffle and it is amazing. And uh, here I'm also be going to using uh, the Wonder Stick by NYX which I'm going to be using for highlighting and contouring my face. It is a dual ended uh, pencil, you know, with a highlighter on one side and uh, the contouring stick on the other side. This is very, very travel friendly. So in case if you're, you know, wanting to buy any of these, I would definitely suggest this according to your skin color. After I have finished all of that, I'm going to be powdering my face with the Banana Benai powder. And uh, for my eyebrows, I have used the chubby stick from Maybelline. This is in the shade light brown. I forgot to mention I have already uh, primed my face with the color bar primer. It's excellent for filling up the pores, uh, you know, in case if you have open pores. Here I'm going to be using the faces pencil uh, as the base for my eyeshadow because the entire look of my eyeshadow is going to be a half smoky blue eye with glitter so this is the base that i'm going to be using for my eyeshadow you got to be very careful while you are using uh, this dark color because anything that if you do wrong you will have to undo it and undoing means that you have to do the entire procedure of doing your concealer and powdering your eyes all over again so just be very careful while you're doing this Make sure that you're using this blue liner only uh, on your eyelid. You're not even touching the crease line. With the pencil brush, you're going to be making sure that you're blending this eyeshadow base really very well. We do not want any harsh lines. Taking any blue glitter that you would prefer, just uh, pat it on your eyelid I'm going to be using my fingers because I tried using a brush but it didn't work well fingers were working fine to transfer the glitter shadow to my eyelid after I have done that I'm going to be taking a black gel liner and uh, this one that I'm using is from L'Oreal I'm going to be using this only on one fourth of the outer corner of the eyelid. Make sure that you are very careful while you're doing this process because anything that goes wrong again once here, it's going to be a lot of effort to, you know, make sure you get it right. So take your time and do this. You're going to be filling the outer one fourth of your eye with this black gel liner after you have done that make sure you're using a pencil brush a thick pencil brush to smoothen the edges 
and you got to make sure that you are blending this product in towards the inner half of your eye and not outside the lines that you have created like you see me doing here after that use the same gel liner and line your lower lash line after you have finished lining your lower lash line make sure that you're quick enough to smudge it so that there are no harsh lines it gives a nice soft smoked out look to the eye Once we have done that, I'm going to be using a light brown shade and a skin tone shade from the Huda Beauty Eyeshadow Rose Gold Palette. And this I'm going to be using as a transition shade. So as you see me pointing out, one is the skin color and the other is the dark brown color that I'm going to be using as the transition shade. Be very gentle while you're doing it and make sure that you're blending it well. So that the transition shade really blends very well with the eyeshadow that you have applied on your eyelids. Blending is the key to any eye makeup which you are use in which you're using dark colors because we would not like any stark look. Next, I'm going to be using these two light colors from the same Huda eyeshadow rose gold palette. I'm going to be highlighting my brow bone area. Here I'm using my favorite gold pencil by Maybelline, Colossal Kajal. I'm going to be uh, using this gold on my lower waterline. In case if you wish to you can also tight line your eyes using the same goal on your upper waterline as well. I'm using this gorgeous palette from Makeup Revolution and I'm using this uh, palette the highlighter in the inner corners of my eye just to open up the eye and you can see that it instantly you know adds a little bit of pop to the eye and definitely makes it look much much more lively I'm going to be using falsies after I've done using the falsies and doing the eye makeup for the other eye as well I'm using the same gel eyeliner from L'Oreal I'm going to be making a wing liner I'm not going to be making this thick because already there's a lot of color and a lot of drama already added to the eye so uh, just would be making a simple wing liner After doing that, I'm going to be using this blush from my favorite Inglot palette. I'm going to be mixing this peach and pink and uh, using it very uh, sparingly, not too much, not too much of color. And going to be highlighting my cheeks. Then I'm going to be using this lovely Makeup Revolution palette once again and going to be using the highlighter. This is a gorgeous highlighter palette. I I have no words, you know, I mean to explain what gorgeous beauty this is. You can see one swipe and you see the color payoff of this highlighter. Going to be highlighting all the high points of on my face. The cheekbones, nose, chin, the cupid's bow,
it's always good to have some fun while you're working, isn't it? <laughs> Moving on to the lip color, this is one of the gorgeous lip colors from Color Bar that I'm going to be using. And uh, yeah, make sure that you know you're using these colors very carefully because any mistake that you do here, as I said earlier, is going to take you a lot of effort to undo and redo the entire thing again. So yes, making sure that you know I'm within the lip line area. And uh, this gorgeous beauty is amazing. The color is so, so fresh. And yes, it looks glossy right now, but it dries off uh, in less than a minute. And it dries off to an absolute matte color. You can use this color in case if you would like to use, go in for something nudes, definitely nude. One of the nude that I would definitely would like to recommend would be from Chamber 481. Is the shade in case you all are nude lovers. And uh, yes, that's about it. Done with the lip color. I'm using this highlighter stick from Color Bar just on the bridge of the nose. And yes, gently tapping it using my finger. And that's about it. That's my finished look in case if you have liked it. Please do give this video a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel. Until we meet again, take very good care of yourself.